My name is Jimmy. What's up, you guys? Jimmy here with my review for the season finale of The Flash. And uh, just to let you know beforehand, I will be talking about the gist of the episode. So if you haven't watched it yet, go watch it first and then come back to my review. But first, I would have to say this episode was just so amazing in so many ways. I mean, it was amazing, awesome, intense, even emotional. Because there were times that I literally almost cried. So I, it's just like a season finale should be. Because it should have all this emotion going around. All this intenseness to seeing what is going to happen. So this would be my personal favorite episode of the show's first season. Until season two comes. Which, as we saw in the promos, uh, this is the episode that Barry's going to go back in time to save his mom. Which we find out this was Wells' plan all along. You know, to use Barry and the particle accelerator to kind of create a wormhole. So he would be able to travel back to his own time. You know, and Barry's like contemplating through this part of the episode and even we get to see a little bit of a question answered about a certain character because there's a conversation between both Cisco and Wells. Technically Cisco was affected by the particle accelerator himself. He can see through the vibrations of time and that's why he was able to see the alternate past. So, yeah, so technically, Cisco is already vibe. He's just not the hero yet. So I thought that was an amazing thing. I was like, yay! You know, kind of like, like geeking out over that. But uh, Barry does decide to go through with it. And if he doesn't go fast enough, um, he goes poofy. And if he doesn't come back in time... A black hole will be created that will engulf the world and even beyond that. So, a lot of pressure going on around him. But when Barry does go back and we're like seeing, um, Barry is seeing his past, present, and future. Which we see a couple of flashes of some other things. I guess you could sort of say Easter egg. Uh, one is a little bit of of uh, DC's Legends of Tomorrow, the new spinoff, coming next year. And also we see uh, Caitlyn as Killer Frost. So, I was just... Th that just adds to the amazement of these little Easter eggs in this season finale. But um, Barry does get there and his future self that was already there. He says, no, don't do it. So pretty much, uh, I'm pr pretty much thinking that this was sort of a reference to um, Flashpoint, which was a storyline that Barry saved his mother from being killed. And the world got more messed up than it already was. So that's, that's kind of a theory on uh, an Easter egg on that episode. But, you know, even though Barry doesn't say his mom, he does get to meet her one final time. And that was the point where I literally almost cried. I mean, there was tears up in here. They were just waiting to come down. So that whole entire scene was just so emotional for me. You know, just so emotional. But, you know, Barry does come back into the bat, uh, back to the present so that the world doesn't get destroyed. And um, this has a mono and mono fight with uh, Reverse Flash, which also, again, we see another Easter egg before Barry comes, and it is a helmet. Jay Garrick's helmet, which in the comics, Jay Garrick was the original Flash. So, another bit of an Easter egg. So I thought that was very nice to see. But, um, but in order to save him, Eddie kills himself, since he's Eobard's ancestor. 
But, you know, even though they shut it down, still a black hole was made. So Barry goes and tries to do the same thing he did with the tornado with um, Weather Wizard. And that's where it ends. And I have to say, that was a great way to end it. Because if you end a show on a cliffhanger, it was already renewed for months and months. So it kind of made sense to end on a cliffhanger because it puts that much more excitement on what to see next. You know, and even in that scene, we do see, um, you know, some of the characters, a couple of the characters that will be in DC's Legends of Tomorrow, which we see Captain Cold and we see Hawk Girl which is the new character that's going to be introduced in that show. But, like I said before, overall, this was a freaking amazing episode. Really great references, and I guess you could say teases in this episode. You know, ending on a cliffhanger makes us that much more excited on what is to happen next. So, yeah, definitely a personal favorite episode. Gosh, now I have not been able to notice this many Easter eggs in the episode, in a past episode. Maybe like one in an episode and one in another. But, yeah. But uh, overall, love the episode. Looking forward to season two this fall. But, um, in other stuff, uh, as I've said before, in the past week, we saw a first look at DC's Legends of Tomorrow, which is the new, uh, the new spinoff for The Flash and Arrow, which, you know, it has a team that consists of White Canary, which, you know, this confirms that Sarah is back from the dead, because she's brought back with the Lazarus Pit. Um, you have Captain Cold, Heat Wave. Um, you have Firestorm, even though we only see um, Do uh, Dr. Stein, but I'm pretty sure we're going to see Firestorm. Um, Hawk Girl, which is, like I said before, the new character from the show, and I'm definitely excited because they're using a version of Hawk Girl that many people are familiar with, whether they were a person that um, watched the older animated universe, or even from the comics. So I thought that was another nice thing to see for this new spinoff. Oh yeah, and of course, you have The Atom, which has been said that Ray will be the leader of the team. And this uh, trailer confirms a couple of theories that I had for Arrow. You know, Adam, he has his power to his ability to be able to shrink down. And Oliver on the BS, the BS retirement, which a lot of people, and myself included, uh, thinking that Oliver will not be the arrow. He will be the green arrow. Yeah, but let me know your thoughts on this season finale and also on the Legends, DC's Legends of Tomorrow trailer. Dang. This is going to be a very impatient wait for the fact that this show impressed the hell out of me. Not really impressed. I was already excited for it, but gosh, this has got to be like top, one of my top favorite TV shows. Or at least of new TV shows. But now we just have to wait. Luckily, I have stuff that comes out in the summer. And be on the lookout for my reviews next month for Teen Wolf Season 5, for those of you that are fans of that show. And also, you can check out all my past reviews on The Flash, which is actually on my channel. And I have a playlist for every TV show I regularly review. So, you can check that out in the meantime. And, uh, as always... My name is Jimmy, and until next time, bye.